you do comedy, stand up and things of that nature. What do you think makes the best use out of your comedic sensibility doing feature films or doing animated films? Animated films, there is something about a vocal quality. Like the thing that people don't realize, and this sounds like me complaining about gold bricks, <laughs> is that animated, doing animated films, you're like, all right, you don't have to get dressed up, you don't have to get makeup. There is a lot more exertion of energy than you would think. Of course, because you can't be seen. So you have to make your vocal cords do and you what people to, would normally it, see. Yeah, I mean, again, compared to like real hard work, it's not. But it's uh, there is a certain uh, there's a certain effort that goes into it that always surprises me. It's it's you know the animation thing. Obviously, this is a Pixar project, so I'm so thrilled to do a Pixar thing, but. You know, voice acting is always presented like it's so easy. You just go in there for a couple hours. But the reality is, is if you really give it your all, which you should, you leave there and it's more exhausting than like eight days of, I mean, eight hours of shooting in front of a camera. It's, it's, it's a strange balance. But that might be also because, you know, me standing for hour for four hours is hard for me. <laughs> I don't okay. like movement. <laughs> I, I kind of gathered that as you yeah. were speaking. I was like, I'm feeling like my dude's not a movement kind of dude, but it's all no. good. <laughs> I'm not a movement. So um, what would you say, it, Luke, not Luca. Yeah, Luca and Alberto do these death defying jumps off of these rocks, right? Into yeah. the ocean. And I'm like, ooh, okay, good luck with that. When you yeah. were a kid, did you ever do anything like that? That you were like... Because as children, we're fearless, right? We have no fear. We yeah. don't think that if we jump off a rock into the ocean that our head might split open. We just don't think like that. Yeah. Did you ever have a moment like that when you were a kid? I mean, some. I was not the kid that was like, hey, let's jump off this roof. I'd be like, you know what? I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> so, and the, as we know, there's plenty of adults that are like, I mean, every stunt person is, and thank <laughs> God they exist. But like, they're like, yeah, I'll do that. And it's like, for me, I'm like, cause you, as an actor, you have to do some of it and you have to wear like a harness and you're mm -hmm. like, I can't walk for like a day. And these people do it every day. So as a kid, I was, I mean, I played sports. I played football where I would just bash my head into other people. So, which is stupid, but, um, you know, I at the time I thought it was okay. I mean, I think that's why, like historically, they the people in the army were like that age because I think once you get older, you're like, I'm, don't do that. That's stupid. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, it's, I do. It's like it's like running into battle. Like you got to be like 18. You know, because if you ask like a 50 year old guy to do that, he'd be like, well, first of all, can we walk there? Do we have to run? <laughs> you know that, what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. Trust me. I know and more than we, you think. Can we talk about this? What about <laughs> we go out to dinner, we get some cocktails and we'll figure this out. I don't know if we need to fight about uh, this. Uh, not, go, not go get some cocktails and figure it out. That's, <laughs> ooh, that's funny. Um, so Luca has his best friend, Alberto, who is his ride or die person. Yeah. Um, do you have a ride or die? I do. You know, I had a ride or die definitely around this age. That was, I grew up in a small town in Indiana and me and this friend who is now, he's a doctor in Maine. Wow. We were kind of like, we got to get out of here. And there was, by the way, there was nothing wrong with the town I grew up in. It just, that was my motivating thing. So, but what's interesting and which I think this movie captures so well is that we have these friends, these ride or die friends and our lives change. So my great friend, who's a doctor in Maine, you know, we have different lives, but like we still have that friendship. Do you know what I mean? And so that's what I think is so neat that they've captured this, that, Luca pursues this um, these this different path from this friend who's given him this incredible gift, but it doesn't 
weaken the importance of that friendship. Do you know what I mean? It's like, because I think we all know that friendships are not disposable. You know, there is something very precious, even if, I mean, that's what's so weird about this day we're in. It's like we have these friends that like have these diametrically opposing views on things, but you still feel an affinity for them. Does that make yeah. sense? It makes total sense. And you're right. You know, um, sometimes you, when you're a child, people, those people knew you before you became the person that you are now. So there's something yeah. to be, it's, it's like, it's like being wrapped up into a comfort blanket. It's like going yeah. back to what you know, when you felt safe, when you felt like, you know, there were no infinite boundaries, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's, I mean, that made total sense what you said. And I, I echo that sentiment tenfold. Um, of all the Disney films that are out there, what's your favorite one? Well, I think my, um, I think my, my, uh, I'm, I'm partial to the Pixar ones. You know what I mean? So I'm, and I, you know, my kids love the Marvel stuff and I understand that they're the biggest thing in the world, but I think that, you know, like some of what Pixar does is it's so ambitious and I don't think people realize the risk that they undertake in like soul that was really ambitious and so I, I love the movie on a lot of different levels and i know nothing about jazz or anything like that but it's like i love the ambition of it because that's that's the bravery that is necessary to do something creatively important and i'm not saying i always do that but so I loved Soul, like one of those movies. And I think Pixar does it consistently where you walk out and you're like, wow, that's, you know, that movie's better than a conversation I've had in a year. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. You know, as a dad, um, you played Luca's dad and you're so like, Luca's dad, Lorenzo, was just kind of like this. Like he never got too excited about anything. He was like, the person that brought everything um, down to a normal, pleasable level. And I feel like th that you were the person, perfect person to play that role because you're very much that in that lane. So having said that, I wanted to thank you for your time today. Sorry about the little glitches no. at the beginning, but I appreciate you. And I um, really loved you in the film and I love the film. So thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. To keep up with The Curvy Critic, like our page here, click that subscribe button, and click that bell for notifications. Love, peace, and hair.